Hey guys, and welcome to another Lord on the Aftermath video. It's been a long while since we've been, been looking at this game, but there is a new patch note which focuses mostly on fixes and some balance issues. There's some small things that's been added. So we're going to go through the list. It's not too long actually, but there are some quite good stuff here. So, main buildings can no longer receive lumber, lumber from harvested workers. This affects town halls, necropolises, great halls, forsaken halls, temple of the tides. Uh, Oh, Temple of Zai can still receive lumber as Naga doesn't have their own lumber drop of building. All main uh, buildings with unique names, for example, Tears Hand, Dragon Mob Porth, and Mill, uh, etc., can still receive lumber. This makes drop of buildings more important. And this is logical, seeing that the opportunity to, to uh, opportunity cost of creating uh, lumber drop ups together with your town hall is not as big as in Warcraft 3 melee. Many. Oh god, many lumber drop-offs buildings, uh, such as human uh, lumber mills, were pre previously not very useful. Most, if not all, constructible buildings that perform similar roles uh, shares uh, the pathing size. This means that crypts, uh, soda houses, uh, are the like now, are now like, wait, and the like now require the same building size as barracks and beasteries and etc. Some more tooltips and hotkeys and intro text has been reworked. There has been a terrain change to Ice Crown. Now I really want to see this because Ice Crown is, as probably everyone knows who's played LTA, a mess to fight in. And just generally a pain to fight in because of the lag that it causes. Uh, so I'm looking forward to see that. The control point at Venture Bay in Grizzly Hills is now inactive until the Dwarves activate Explorers League. Uh, and the forgotten one is now buffed, his tentacles last forever. And I'm not sure if he actually was through the last patch notes, but there was a forgotten one added in uh, a shoulder rope, which you can fight, so it's this one they're talking about. Now, Blood Elves has gotten some cool new stuff, or one thing. Sandlane Path for Wretched has been polished. You now receive Valinar, Kelset, and uh, Talcram immediately upon research, together with a starting force at the Temple City of Enkila in Boron Tundra. This space is now under your control. And you may no longer go Illidarius, Wretched or Sandlane. So, it's good to see that the Sandlane is getting some love. We haven't seen that in, since it came out, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, over to Scourge, actually. So, the Lich King's abilities has been revamped. His Q is now the same death call as Arthur's has, replacing the Nurse's Gift, Fort Lightning. His non-level death coil is replaced by Aura of Nursul, granting him plus 15 movement speed and 1.5 health regen aura. This new aura is roughly as powerful as, Arth as Arthur's unholy aura between level 2 and 3. His hotkeys are fixed. So this is cool to see the Lich King getting some love. Um, the Frozen Town is now powered by 4 Ice Crown Obelisks uh, instead of 2. Arthur's and the Lich King's stats loss is restricted. Uh, to these four obelisks. So, we have four obelisks in Ice Crown now with the new terrain, which we don't know yet uh, how it looks, but there's four obelisks now. So, not just two to destroy the Frozen Throne. Temple City of Enkila is no longer under your control as it went through with red. It belongs to Sandlin when that is activated. And the units kept there has been moved to the Forgotten Shore. Legion, no new changes. Uh, Dalar on the Arcane shield, uh, shield Generator no longer benefits from improved Masonry upgrades. And the Gaunt Towers in Glynis uh, City now properly changes owner when the city is conquered. Dwarfs. Magni's Bronze Bits Thunder Roar Ultimate has been mass ner massively nerfed. It now deals uh, damage. Dam uh, it, da it now deals damage every one second instead of uh, 0 0.1 second. The damage uh, is increased per tick, but the overall damage is astronomically lowered. He could deal 4,000 magic damage in 4 seconds. And that is kind of insane. We know, we've seen this guy before. He crushes everything. You may now train Shadowfall Lord in Shadowfall City and Town Halls. Didn't implement last version. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Dark Horde. Uh, Red Black can now has to reach level 15 instead of 10 to summon a Farion. McThurden is tagged as an undead unit. Warlock's uh, Shadow of Your Ordica spell now grants 20% damage boost instead of uh, 40. Its cast range is reduced by 100. Uh, Shadow, of Shadow of Fury is now toggled uh, on autocast immediately after training. And Dark Horde may only train 4 Infernals. So we're getting the nerfs here. Horde, nothing. Forsaken, nothing. Uh, Cult of Damned. Naxxramas can now be attacked by air units. It's still spell immune, so air units with the magic will still be unavailable to attack. Okay. 
the cult no longer starts with a cultist worker and two spirit towers at the Sunwell. Okay. Now, Silverhand has gotten a kind of cool thing, which is pretty cool. Uh, you may now start with Talon forging as a new demi hero in Heartland. Whenever Talon dies, an event activates that boosts Tyrion stats by 10. 10 in strength, intelligence, and agility. This event is in reference to one of my best vanilla mo uh, memories, uh, 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 the, the In Dreams quest. Which, you don't know, is... I'm not wrong now, I could be wrong. But it is when Talon finds out the crusade is kind of bad, he decides to run. Uh, but he's stopped by Isilion and is killed and then Tyrion comes, finds the body of his son. And then uh, Tyrion kills Isilion. I think that's what it is too. Renov Morgrade has the new model and icon, and Baron Westman has a new icon, and you now start with a small lumber operation in the Western Plaguelands. Troll Empire, uh, a kills on Whirlwind Spirit does 10 less damage for each Whirlwind tick, and how cars hold keys are fixed. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and the last on the list is Dragon Mark Clan. Orc Spirit House now benefit from Orcish armor upgrades. Black Drakes no longer are under the units. Oh shit! So you can no longer exercise them uh, with Alexander's Morgrade. And Zulu head, the wax hot keys are fixed. And the bugs that has been fixed is quite a s a small amount, so we can just look at them. Uh, Sandlin bugs, uh, no Lich King no longer drops two number of dominations. Uh, fixed a bug, bug that made it possible to walk down the ledges of a shoal in the room. Uh, fixed it, in, uh, okay, the fraction thing. And Varamathra may longer teleport into Nox Ramos, but controlled by Forsaken. Ooh, okay. So overall, this patch brings minor stuff uh, into the game in terms of events and new content but it brings some very needed uh, balance issues and some bug fixes that was very needed right now. It's cool to see that Icecrown gets a new uh, re-terrain uh, because of the whole Northern has already gotten one and seeing as this, they are getting one it's kind of cool and as well that we have four obelisks now instead of two and as well Lich King getting some rework. Many people didn't want to choose him because he wasn't that much better than Arthas uh, and it wasn't worth the chance of losing him. So maybe now people want to go with Lich King as he has some more survivability uh, with this new form and new death call and such. Uh, and it's a pretty cool thing with the silver hand in reference to Talon Forging and the quest in Dreams, of course. Uh, and I'm looking forward to see Rand Morgan's new model and such. We have to look at that at some point. And as well, the nerfs to uh, Kills on Whirlwind and the Dwarf's Thunder Roar ability. So, this is pretty good. And as well, that Sanon gets some small love. As it's not the most uh, used path in the game, I think. But it's been used a couple of times. And as well, that you cannot go Illidar and Merchant. So, good job to Krodos and Dropna. So... Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, guys, bye-bye.